So um, let's do this problem, and we can we can really emphasize the effect of an external magnetic field on um, one of these atoms. Okay. So remember, we said if you have unpaired electrons in one of your orbitals, the atom itself or particle will be affected by an external magnetic field. Okay. And if it is affected, we call that paramagnetic. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw the condensed orbital diagram of silver. Okay, so everybody help me out with that. Um, you can help me out just by calling it out. So what would we start with? Krypton. Krypton, yeah. And then? 5s2. Well, not with silver though, right? 5s1. That's all right. 4d10. Is that everybody okay with that? Yes. Okay, so that's the condensed electron configuration. Let's draw the orbital diagram. Okay. So just so we can see the unpaired electron. Like that. Everybody cool with that? So, this is going to be paramagnetic. Why? Oh, excuse me, because it's affected by the magnetic field, external magnetic field. What would you expect the ion for silver to be? Plus one. Okay. So let's draw the condensed, well let's draw the electron diagram, or the electron configuration and then the condensed orbital diagram. Okay? So silver is going to be plus one. Why would you expect that? So what's its condensed uh, electron configuration? Krypton 4d10. Yeah, Krypton 4d10. So it lost that 5s electron, as hopefully you would have expected. So when we draw the Condensed orbital diagram. It's still got the filled 4D, right? But does it have any unpaired electrons? No. Okay. So, in fact, if you put this through the same experiment as the silver atom itself, it would not be affected by the external magnetic field. Okay? So we call this thing diamagnetic. Not affected by the external magnetic field. So why is this paramagnetic? Because we've got that unpaired electron. And why is this diamagnetic? No. Unpaired. Electron. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay. So, you should be able to figure out if something's paramagnetic or diamagnetic. Any questions on this?